welcome back to the channel as you can tell i have been on a journey to somewhere new and i'm just currently walking up to elton palace for my first ever visit now i'm really excited to visit here it's somewhere i've wanted to come to for quite a while now um, but then obviously covid happened and all these places kind of places had to shut so Elton Palace is known for being the childhood home of Henry VIII and obviously in his later life he went on to build and live at Hampton Court Palace where I was last week so it's really nice to kind of do a full circle and visit where he lived as a child so I am an English Heritage member, so entry to the palace is free. I've had to pre-book, as you have to do with most things at the moment. So what I'm going to do is head up there, get some shots of the palace, and then head inside and take you with me. And we've also got all the grounds and gardens to explore as well. So it should be a really nice day, should be a really nice vlog it's nice to come and vlog somewhere new um, lots of that coming up this year on the channel I'm so excited um, but yeah and I'll give you my first impressions of the palace when we get there and towards the end of the vlog I will let you know prices if you would want to come and visit yourself and I'm so sorry if I sound breathless walking and talking and filming all at the same time it's very difficult so I will see you up at the palace very very shortly so I have got my map here there's a nice little entrance area um, where I can grab some food there's a cafe and there's also a shop in there which I will be going to towards the end of my visit unless there's one up near the palace and Oh my god, I've just got my first view of the palace and it looks so so good. I'm gonna get around a corner where I can kind of get a better shot. Um, and there's also a talk going on at 12 and 2 today about the medieval history of the palace. Um, so that'll be nice and interesting. And I've just got to go over a little moat to get across to the palace, but there it is through the trees. And it looks really pretty. Some of like the red brick is very similar to Hampton Court. So uh, let's go, a go and get a little bit closer. So here's just a view of the moat bridge you go across. And it's very picturesque. You wouldn't think you're in the middle of London. It's very quiet and very peaceful. I'm really excited. So I'm just standing in the courtyard just outside and how impressive does this look guys I look at all the detail on the carvings in the rock and oh, i can't wait to get inside so i think i'm just gonna head straight in i must say staff members are so friendly here lovely guy having a chat with me about the basic story of the house and like the history and just pointing me in the right direction. Fab. The other guests are already in the drawing room. Mr. Coulthold asked me to set up the cine projector with the latest newsreel. There'll be a tour before dinner. If you'd be so kind as to follow me. Electric and can I feel underfloor heating? Well, 
Welcome to the home of Stephen and Virginia Courtelt. A bold transformation of a magnificent medieval palace into a stylish 20th century home. Fit for today's kings and queens of fashionable society. But how did it all begin? In the late 1290s, Anthony Beck, Bishop of Durham, built a grand moated manor house here, later giving it to the Prince of Wales, the future King Edward II. For the next 200 years, kings and queens added to and improved the royal palace of Elton. They created a venue suitable for the royal court and for entertaining foreign dignitaries and royalty, including the spectacular Great Hall that still stands today, built by King Edward IV in the 1470s. It's a hall that later Henry VIII knew well, for he and his sisters grew up at Elton. As king, Henry made major improvements in the 1520s, including the addition of a grand chapel. But Henry's successors rarely came to Eltham, and Charles I was the last king to visit. Badly damaged in the Civil War, the palace fell into ruins. A farmhouse was built amongst the remains, and the once magnificent Great Hall became a barn. Efforts were made in the 19th and early 20th centuries to save the Great Hall from complete collapse. This then was the Eltham that the wealthy Courtauld found in 1933, partly restored, but mostly forgotten. Looking for a semi-rural location within easy reach of London, Stephen and Virginia Courtauld saw an opportunity to both rescue the remains and also add their own modern stamp to Elton's long history of rebuilding. First, not without controversy in the press, architect Seeley and Paget had taken their cues from history for the exterior of the new house. But for one critic, the result is an admirably designed but unfortunately cited cigarette factory. But you couldn't mistake the interiors for a factory floor. It's like stepping into a first-rate hotel. From the Italian-inspired drawing room, to the Swedish-designed entrance hall, to the Art Deco dining room, it's luxury all the way. Yes, this is very much a home for entertaining. Explorers, film directors, politicians, and royalty are all part of the Courtauld social circle. And when you know Queen Mary might drop by, you lay off the very best including the latest gadgets. And of course, wonderful flowers, a particular passion of the Courtauld's, as are the gardens, where old also meets new, where medieval kings of England once strolled. The Courtauld's have brought the latest fashions and garden design, including this sunken rose garden and garden rooms beyond. And here, along with their family and guests, are the hosts themselves enjoying the gardens. So look, they're waving hello is Mrs. Virginia Courtauld, or Ginny to her friends. And who are these unlikely companions? It's mighty Caesar, the great day, and Marjong, the Lima. This cheeky chap is the unofficial lord of the manor. Yes, it's an extraordinary place, all right, where primates are playmates and stately medieval meets stylish modern. I expect you would like some change before dinner, and the tour will begin shortly, if you would follow me to your suite. Your room, the Venetian suite. I do hope you enjoy your tour of the house and gardens. If you have one of our newfangled gadgets, please press stop one Venetian suite to start.
so I am now embarking on the garden tour. It's really, really good. The house is absolutely beautiful. It's so amazing. Um, and this is the North Court and we are just heading round to the Linear Garden. Um, I already can't recommend a visit here enough. It's really foggy, but on a clear day, London is very clear in the distance. You can just make out the shard today. Um, so I'll try and get a picture of that. I'm also going to take my mask off in a minute because I'm in outdoors, so I can take it off. But again, indoors, similar to the Tower of London and Hampton Court. You put your masks on in indoor buildings, but outdoors you can take them off. So I'll see you at my next stop. So this building here is the 1935 Courtholds house, so the tour I've just done, and this big building next to it is the medieval hall or great hall um, that Henry VIII would have commissioned or Edward IV before him. Uh, as you'll know from the War of the Roses, Edward was the Yorkist king trying to defend his title and was beaten by Henry VII, who is of course Henry VIII's dad. So it's really nice here though, beautiful surroundings. Just wish it was a little bit warmer. <laughs> So these columns would normally have wisteria growing off of them um, connected to this tree and these columns actually come from the Bank of England in central London which is quite an interesting fact that they used that as a decoration for the garden. So you can imagine along these beds here this is the south moat and these beds would be planted with loads of different flowers and it's just amazing this place is huge <laughs> like there's so many different things to see and explore and i'll definitely be making a trip back very very soon i mean that looks a bit eerie and creepy so this area here would be the rose garden. You can imagine it in the summer with all the roses growing and all the different pretty plants coming up. It's really nice. So at the moment, a little bit of the garden tour is currently or closed off. Um, mainly due to social distancing reasons. So that's definitely something to come back for. And so there's lots of stuff in the gardens that you're not able to see yet. Um, so another reason, not that I needed one, to come back very soon. ordered some lunch. I will show you the lunch when it arrives. Not bad at all for a bottle of water and a main meal, hot meal. is about £10.30 which I think is really really good. Um, so I will show you when the food arrives and then I'm going to have another wander around the house. I won't take you around this time as I took you around earlier and then as I'm walking back to the station we'll just wrap up my day here at Elton Palace. So for lunch I have ordered their 
special of the day which is a sausage casserole with a bread roll and my bottle of water so yeah really not bad for 10 pounds so let's get eating and then i'll see you back up at the house so I just thought I'd take this time to tell you the prices if you yourself wanted to come and visit Elton Palace. I've just finished my lunch and I'm heading back up to going back inside the palace. Um, so for an adult, you're looking at about £17.30 for the day or as a child, you're looking at about £10.40. And with everything there is to see inside the house and the gardens, I think it's reasonably well priced and definitely worth a visit if it's something you're interested in or if it's something you would want to come and have a look at. Again, this is in Greenwich and it's in the middle of nowhere. Like you get beautiful views of London when it's not foggy and cloudy. In the summer, I can imagine there's some really pretty views over the city. Um, so yeah, definitely one to check out if you or a history geek or if it's something you're really interested in or if you're if you're into architecture and buildings definitely definitely worth the money to come and check out the palace so just a quick thing this building at the end used to be where cardinal wolsey stayed and that was when henry gave him really big important roles and then, obviously, Henry being Henry, he sacked him. And so with that, my wonderful, wonderful first visit to Elton Palace is over. And I'm just heading back to Mottingham train station to get the train back into London to go home. And I've had a wonderful day. The palace is so much more than I was expecting every single room is packed with so much beautiful detail and the gardens what i managed to see are absolutely amazing too and i will definitely be returning in the near future hopefully to bring my mum along for her first visit um as she loves stuff like this as well we love going to places like this together as we have a shared interest of finding out about stuff and mum really likes looking at all the different rooms um, so hopefully I'll be bringing her back very very soon and yeah my favourite room I don't really have one I love Ginny's bedroom I think it's just beautiful and I wish it was my own bedroom like I could see myself in there and I don't think I'm royalty but geez <laughs> that bedroom is just so pretty and even the husband's bedroom Stephen's bedroom next door that was really really simple but nice um, and I like the way that because he was so big with orchids and horticulture his wallpaper was basically depicting Kew Gardens which is another place I really love to go to and it's weird how when you really delve into history every single place kind of there's links between them and i think that's really really interesting i've also done a little bit of shopping um i got a treat for my mum and dad i got the guidebook i love to collect guidebooks when i come to places like this um and also just a little wooden badge which is kind of like a theme park pin badge um but just for a palace instead so with that what comes next on the channel um i believe me and yaz are going to be reunited and we are going to be heading up to bockett's farm for the day uh, and we'll of course be doing a vlog from there bockett's farm is another place i used to spend a lot of time out when i was a kid and i haven't really been for a couple of years I don't think Yas has ever been, so it's just been nice. We're going to go for a wander, feed the animals and just spend a day in the very cold outdoors of the Surrey Hills. Um, but until then, that has been Elton Palace, somewhere behind me, in amongst the trees. I've been Lou and that just means I am left to say I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye! Thank you.